Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Johan for Make Lovia Self Learning Tutorials. Well, today in this tutorial, we will be discussing about an addition workbench of FreeCAD named Geodata. And in the description below, I will be sharing the link to the workbench where you can find the necessary steps to install that workbench. Well, that's a very interesting workbench. So let's start with that. So basically you can see here uh, in the workbenches list, we have already installed this workbench Geodata. So let's have a new file, control new. Uh, one thing I would like to tell you that one thing that is needed with this workbench is like when you install the workbench name Geodata, you also need to install the workbench name animation. I don't know what's the link between these two workbenches, but if you're using a Windows PC, so they you may get an error that you are not able to use this workbench so just take care that you get the workbench installed animation 2 installed along with the geodata so let's open the workbench in geodata so here in the above window we have certain operations so we'll be going through very basic ones the o in support osm map osm basically means the open street map then we can We'll be going to the import OSM heights for the basically terrain shape. Then we'll be importing the SRTM heights that I'll tell telling the later what basically it implies. So let's start with that. Let's import the OSM map. So here in the first dialog box, it basically asks for the coordinates or the latitude and longitude of the particular location. So here are some sample locations already pre-installed in it this is the length of the scale the area basically you want to deal with that so here i'll be showing you the coordinates of my college so here you can see my college name is kunanak dev engineering college ludhiana so here are the set of coordinates so let's first we'll just simply copy and paste them so the other coordinate so now let's just change the length of the scale box that is shift to around here now you can run the values so you see it is creating the visualizations so we're done with that so now just one thing you need to do is just unhide some things here like the highways by the space bar the buildings the path is so you see we have got the 3d map basically here these are the symbolic buildings so if you see the land houses the buildings here so you can see the names of the departments are here like the first one is building then we have the building for the electronics and communication engineering then the name of the bank around by then we have the academic area building the admin block, the classrooms, the IT department, audience of the buildings, and this building of testing and consultancy cell, where I usually spend my day around. Then we have the open auditorium here. Then we have the trust office. So, and this is the hostel where I stay. And this is a stadium. So this was the OSM map. The blue path is basically show the if you see these are the highways or the paths inside the college college and we have these certain highways here so you see the information that we need uh, is enough here so we can use all this information as a height sorry as a site where we can make our new certain buildings so this is a place the nearby colony so now let's move to another option we have this import osm heights so basically this will give us a terrain configuration so let's import the same coordinates here just copy them here you can use your you can find your location on simply by googling it so click the zero option here or it's on the same thing I think so just click the run values 
so you see the wires are created and at the end these wires will be lofted so that will create a path these lines may have some different elevations so you see you can see the lines are created as you see our college is in a plain area it's a terrain basically there is no any irregular surfaces it's a very plain area so the basically the terrain that we'll get will be almost of same elevation there will hardly be any uh, minor differences so you see the terrain is created so if you see any of the front view you see it's almost plain if you have created any mountainous area so you may get some air of the surfaces so you see this is something very interesting and very fascinating too so now you can create any of your buildings so further if any you need some new developments or new construction in your building or your area so you can just use simply this workbench you can have an overview of the landmarks where you want to construct a new building so now let's close the file now we'll go to the import srtm heights so before beginning with that we would like to see what is srtm so this is basically shuttle radar topography mission you can see it on wikipedia it basically tells the digital elevation models of the terrain this also functions similar to the latitude and longitudes we discussed earlier so basically here we will be showing something which may have some irregular surfaces like the mountainous area if i show the plain area you may not get some decent or enough points so just have this import as rtm heights so here are some predefined points and the predefined test case records so let's start with the this pipe the dome so click on it and create elevation points so it will run now actually it just download the information from the servers so the more the complex is the information or the data plane the more time will it take so, so you see the information is here you can also change the area you want for the information if you see any of the view so you see these are differences in the levels basically it just show the type of contours so you see this is also very beneficial when you are dealing with the gis data the geographical information system so there are certain other things like the navigator or the crate houses i can show you the crate houses here so basically these are this basically deals with the symbolic houses like you see you can give the x dimensions let it be 12000 mm the y dimension 12000 the height of the block let it be 8000 height of all the block roof should be like 10000 let this be dimension be same as the build the house so click on the shape this basically creates a shape and just zoom to fit so see this is a house created somewhere here so if you want to just show your clients the basic model or the basic symbolic shape of the future projects in the gis map so you can just simply use the first workbench and show them the basic and rough idea and you can just further build the models well that's all today for this workbench i hope you like this it was interesting well thanks for watching this one is Bechohan for make love stuff learning tutorials goodbye